But when you actually study the system, you realize that I'm taking all of the concepts that are known to be true with with strength training, like, like concepts that are irrefutable, the law of specificity and, mm -hmm. and, and you know, a, a whole number of them. And I'm just bringing them into the micro uh, environment of mobility work, right? Um, so th that's a misconception that I'm, I'm making people bendable or I'm, I'm making people into contortionists, yeah. right? Like I, I work with a lot of contortion. I work with a lot of Cirque du Soleil performers, right? So I do work with those people, but I also work with you guys or I work with... Um, you know, Olympic lifters, or we work with uh, any any number of athletes. And I'm not, I always say that you only need as much flexibility as you your sport requires, mm -hmm. plus or minus a buffer. But the idea of always capturing control over your flexibility and adding resilience to the tissues that are governing your flexibility, uh, that's strength training. Yeah. Uh, so I think people miss that, that I'm not talking about mobility, like roll on a foam roller, mm -hmm. feel loosey goosey, and then get to the important stuff. I'm turning the focus of training from the external environment of lifting weights and, and producing feats of strength and turning the focus internally mm -hmm. and thinking what anatomy need be in place in order to make those external feats go well and how is that anatomy built?